Lakeland Locker Room. Once again, I'm John Weber, joined today by Jim Zabrowski, the head football coach at Lakeland College. Jim, as usual on the show, we like to get right to it. Let's go. But I got to tell you something. I was a little disappointed. I actually stayed up the other night, watched Jay Leno, and he said, let's get right to it. No, he did I was like, this is our catchphrase. I'm thinking that Leno stole it from us. I think you he know, got a little Sheboygan. Sort of yep, I Bruce think he got a little Sheboygan TV show. <laughs> it's all over. It's nationwide. That's right, exactly. So. But anyways, we, I guess we should get right to the game <laughs> stuff. Enough fun there, of course. But uh, you guys had a great win over Aurora University, a nice 34 Yeah, 10. it was really good for our seniors, even for some of our guys that I'm coaching our staff that have played, they, were, they haven't beaten Aurora. And um, I actually got a nice letter, you'll love this one, because it's your boy, Coach Hines. I got a letter on Friday from him saying, hey, great game, you know, you guys played great against us, and good luck, and beat Aurora, it'd be a great way for the seniors to end their home career, because they've never beaten them. Mm -hmm. And it's the letters I talked about, you know, I have a vested interest in the program still being there, and I'd really love for those kids to go out and get that win against Aurora. So it was really great. So it was more than just our kids. It was a lot of people felt, I think it was the first time, mm -hmm. at least since 97 or 98, that they'd beaten Aurora. And uh, the coaches were all happy, especially the guys who played here. And the kids played really well. We started out bad, but then we came through and really ended up dominating the game, which yeah. was really great. Well, Aurora jumped out to 7 and The first the first half was actually pretty close. Went back and forth. You guys ended up with a 13-7 halftime lead. But at the same point, it was a... Uh, uh, I think the first play, like you said, yeah, really, it was, was kind of Great scary. coaching on the first play. <laughs> we ended up, we usually kick off, but we lost the toss. And they decided to kick off. We had the ball like, on the 20 yard line, and first play, we fumbled the snap. Mm -hmm. Two seniors. Well, we've been together forever. <laughs> I look at both of them like, uh, what happened? And they're just like, uh, I, I don't know. It was like, it was like Twilight Zone. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, you can't worry about it. Let's go. They end up scoring right away to get some momentum, 7 0. And we end up getting a drive defense got we ended up struggling to get the next drive. They had a chance to score. They fumble. We get the ball back. We have a ninety seven yard drive. End of the first quarter, early second quarter tied up. Got some momentum back. And I think it was ten seven. Ten seven and a half. Ten seven and a half time. We ended up scoring right before half on a field goal mm -hmm. and we were playing pretty good. God that after that horrific start, our defense played great. Our special teams were great again. Then our offense got rolling and I told them at halftime, I go, man, you got him almost broken. It sounds weird saying that at 10 7, but you just punt. You had over 200 yards of offense in the mm -hmm. first half. They had like 80. I go, the scoreboard just didn't indicate how the game was going. I go, we just keep playing the same way. You got a chance to really do some damage to these guys in terms of the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. And it ended up, you know, coming to fruition, I guess you can say. And the kids did it, played outstanding, and we ended up. You know, rolling them pretty good. Yeah, you guys really controlled the second half, obviously, just right. down, complete domination. The first half, getting back to there, they did score on a four yard pass uh, at the 13 12 mark to make it 7 right. nothing. As you mentioned, you guys put together a 97 yard drive. Uh -huh. And there's an old song, you know, the bird, the bird, or the bird is the word, or something like that. <laughs> I know I got a little off, of course, the you bird, did. bird, bird, the you bird did. is the word. But, anyways, Sean, the bird bearing Very one enough, heck Sean. of a game. He for did you. He had a great game as a, our senior wide receiver. He ended up, you know, so well. We've talked about it after the Oshkosh game because he had. 12 catches or something for 150 yards against Oshkosh. Outstanding athlete. Mm -hmm. You said, like you and I talked about, he had a chance to be, maybe go to the professional level in baseball and play some minor league ball, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, had some shoulder problems or whatever, ended up playing football, never played in high school. Uh, wide receiver did a great job. And this game just came out and he played outstanding. He's a great athlete. He's just been banged up. And we always, I always joke about him because he always say he's like a 10th year senior because he feels so <laughs> old. When his body's right in terms of, He's healthy. Uh, this is going to sound stupid now, but it's a little warmer out. His bone, we always joke about because old bones got to get loose <laughs> and so on. But he was outstanding. He had seven catches for 190 some yards, um, two two big touchdowns, almost a third touchdown. Just he played great, you know. And our passing game was was really good. Our running game did what it had to do. They just gave us some opportunities. I started taking some shots in terms of calling and saying, "Let's let it loose here." And the kids came up with some big plays. So it was, it was, but Bird played. He was, he was kind of, that kind of dominated that game in the middle quarters. Yep, he had a 43 yard touchdown pass, let you guys even the score. And then Gerald Starner, which is nice, because you guys, had, uh, obviously Gerald, I believe, is a senior as yes. well, and a 28 yard field goal, and your kicking yeah. game had been struggling. Yeah, the last two games, like we said, we said last week, the last, last game we were seven for seven on extra points. Um, did a great job, no pressure this game. We were four or four on extra points, we kicked two field goals, and I, Personally, I hate field goals. If you're kicking a field goal, you're not scoring <laughs> touchdowns. But when you have to kick a field goal, you need yeah. to kick it. You need to make it. And they did, and that was great. That was great to see, you know, him step up. And if you look at the look across the board, you know, Sean Barron's is here. Jeff Taff had another good game. Senior Brent Lukey, senior our, D, our old line has three off three uh, seniors played well. We had almost 500 yards of offense. Mm -hmm. uh, Brent Lukey, you know, played well. I, I'm so hard on him because we had this opportunity in this game to really. We were open a lot. He had to miss three or four throws, and 
and if you're in the crowd, you probably heard Coach Z going, Brent, throw it there. But he, uh, he's a great kid in terms of being able yeah. to, he's an athlete, he understands what you're saying. Mm -hmm. he, he lets go of the stuff you're saying to him in terms of the volume, the, the loudness, and he takes what he needs to take out of it mm -hmm. and just bounces right back. And it's a great way for a kid to lead the team and say, yeah, I can take this so-called browbeam, but I know I'm, he's more mad than, he's more mad himself than I could ever get at. Mm -hmm. And then there's a couple senior ground defense just, you know, played well, and we that second half they had no chance. He kicks field goal because I tried a try an outside kick that faltered, <laughs> but uh, they, that's how they got a short field to drive on. But we came right back and scored a touchdown away we went. Well, this is kind of jumping ahead of ourselves. We're going to talk about what you said to the guys at halftime again too. But yeah. you got to get really excited. You only have a couple seniors on defense. On yeah. offense, you're going to have to replace five guys or so, give or take. Yeah. But you got to be excited about the youth coming. Yeah, too. I think some people think occasionally. I think some people look at us. Hey, you're a you must be a veteran team, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people may say, you walked into a pretty good situation because Jeff did a great job recruiting, got great kids here, mm -hmm. and uh, you're senior loaded, but we're not senior loaded. We have 15 seniors, uh, give or take one. I'm a bad, I'm a math guy, I forget the numbers. We're right around <laughs> the 15 senior mark. Um, two seniors start on defense, mm -hmm. three seniors play. Uh, offensively, we have three, six seniors. Um, Greg Dorian has a chance to come back and play if his uh, schedule lets him, he has another year. So you're losing Shane and Nick, our center and right tackle. You lose three receivers, which is tough, and Brent, the quarterback. Um, but that's only six out of 22 positions, or right. you know, it's eight out of 22 positions. Mm -hmm. And the kicker, and we kind of mix match kickers anyways in terms of, so G's done a great job, we have other people, so we are. It's a pretty good situation that these young kids are learning to play in big, I think the big thing is the young kids are learning to play in big games. Right. In terms of big games are kids. The ner my most nervous part of this week was trying to get these kids convinced that Stop thinking about being O for Aurora mm -hmm. and never beating Aurora. It's just step A. I know it sounds stupid. Everybody jokes, oh, you're a st it's like an alcohol uh, <laughs> awareness program, step by step. But I said, if you can't play, you don't play any harder. You just keep getting better and better, hopefully. But it's Aurora. And I told them, when I was at Millican, I'd be in 54 12. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they think they're physical and they try to be physical, and that's what they want their demeanor to be. And that's what I want our demeanor to be. Mm -hmm. So we just became, I guess, more physical in that term. Those young kids are learning, like you said, we got a, young, a lot of young kids out there making plays but learning to play. Now they're like, Aurora, I'm one and old against Aurora. I'm one and old against McMurray. Mm -hmm. I had my opportunities against Corey Wisconsin. We could play with them. Mm -hmm. Oshkosh, we had a chance. So those kids are learning to say, hey, I don't have any quote unquote old, whatever you call it, old bag is just say, hey, we mm -hmm. always struggle against these guys. Not anymore. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm trying to get across. Yeah, and the big trying to sound like a tough guy, say, not anymore, but you know, <laughs> you're trying to get that point of saying, I'm new. I don't know. I'm, yeah. We're one. This is Aurora being 34-10. It could have been 48-10. Yeah. And the mindset is hard, hard to change. And the yes. big thing is, no matter what any coach says, experience is a key factor. It is. And that's what we said the biggest. That's all week. Mm -hmm. I just kind of, I don't harp on it. I say, hey, I'm one and I try to use some stupid concepts, but I'm like, I'm one and mm -hmm. In terms of, you want to be personal here. I played Aurora once in terms of coaching, and we beat them handily. Mm -hmm. you know, so I'm not thinking, ooh, Aurora, ooh, whatever. I'm thinking, let's worry about us. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because we'll work all week on stuff. And it comes back during the week. Every game you watch tape, and you're like, oh, they're going to know we've run this play. But you know what? We just need to run it better and mm -hmm. run it well. And you watch our game, we run the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we do it out of different formations, motion, shifting. But we do the same stuff on both sides of the ball. We just try to make sure our kids get better instead of worry about what Aurora No, I don't care what Aurora does. I want to make sure we are mm -hmm. good at what we do. Mm -hmm. Well, you must have been pretty good at halftime because, as you mentioned, it was 10 seconds. I'm rolling at Yeah, I was doing okay at halftime. <laughs> and somehow the message got across, obviously, because you guys outscored him 24 to 3. Yes. Know, my, my slow math there, of course, but 24 yeah. to 3 in the second half, you yeah. just completely controlled the game. Yeah, and I, I came in there right away. I said, man, they're breaking. It's 10 7. The field goal was huge to get the lead. It's always big to get a lead. Mm -hmm. 7 10, it sounds stupid to say again, but 10 7 is a lot better, better than 7 to 7. I know mm -hmm. it's only three points, but you have the lead. You just score right at the end of the half to take the little wind out of whatever they had because they knew they were in, in for a pretty good fight. And I was in there saying, we're hanging with them. And I'm saying they're not hanging with them. We're letting them hang right now because we struggled early in the first. We wasted a quarter trying to get our minds focused back on what we have mm -hmm. to do. And we play how we need to play. Defensively, you stroke them early. We'll get the ball. We'll score right away. I, you know, try to be that confident. We'll score. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then let's roll and go from there. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. And you guys came out in the third quarter, and Jeeps hit another 27-yard field. Yeah, we, we drove really well. Defense, great job. We ended up um, dropping a touchdown pass right there. We could have made it 17-7. Bounced back, kicked the field goal, got points. And then we uh, came back right after that. And I think the next drive was a Sean Bird 70-yard 
Yep, 70 yard pass from Luke in a, a one nice. One play drive, I like that. One play 19. about what, 10 seconds, 12 yeah, it seconds? It says 19, I don't know about that. 19 seconds, I wonder. I don't know, 70 yards. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Sean, Sean ain't that slow. <laughs> but it was but, great, we, we had a play action, it's 13-7, good field position. Oh, not good, but 30 yard line. Yeah. Uh, we play action pass, Sean made a great catch. We'll see on the highlights in the second part of the show. And 17-7 now, or 20-7 to seven, now they're thinking, now we're, oof, you know, here we go. And, and, uh, and there was a big, the reason that was a big play was it was 13-7. We had noticed that they had two big, old, big, heavy set kids in the front line of the kickoff team. Mm -hmm. So I said, let's, on, let's try to get them with an onside kick. And unfortunately, we kicked it too hard. They fell on top of it. They made it 13-10. So we needed to get the momentum back. And we ended up uh, scoring 20-10. to and then it was kind of over from there in terms of the way we played. Mm -hmm. And the one thing about Bird as well, obviously we mentioned he's fast, but a lot of guys don't realize he's about six foot four and can jump out of the. Yeah, gym he can. Yeah, anywhere, he's six you know. four, and he's funny. He was six four, about a buck ten. Yeah, he's yeah. a twig, <laughs> but he's a no. We joke with him, but he's six four, whatever he is, one eighty five, one ninety. He can, and he goes after it. You know, he the ball is in the air. He expects to catch it. Mm -hmm. You know, and he did a great job all day doing that. Well, you guys took a twenty to ten lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Then you guys scored right four seconds in the first fourth quarter. Yeah, play action pass, third and two. On the two, we threw to Travis Jervis. Our play action passing was really good. Down there, they try to put a lot of guys in the box. We play action pass, Travis wide open, 27 10. They fumble our interception the next drive. We get the ball back. It's a two play drive to Kenny Grundy. Yep. Another one of our fullbacks who runs really well. He's just, he's learning the system. It's taking him a little longer, but he can run the rock now. And we give it to him twice six yards, 15 yards, touchdown. Now yep. it's 34 10, and, and that's a game. the lights are out. Yeah. All right. yeah. I mean, what do you do that? Were you just trying to milk the clock down and run it out pretty uh, much? Unlike last week when I was trying to rub yeah, it in, yeah. uh, that people would say, <laughs> no. Uh, I, 34 10 is your comfortable. I want to keep those seniors out there one more drive. Sure. We ended up driving down. We got stuffed on a fourth and two. Um, we threw a pass, got knocked down. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to get that drive. There was about six, five minutes, six minutes. We ran, 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 ran through two passes that drive. Just tried to eat up the clock. Uh, they got the ball back punted, I, gave, I took a five-yard penalty, as a matter of fact, to lay a game and let all our seniors on offense come out, kind of give them a, mm -hmm. hey, we're five, and uh, great job, and put all our kids, our young guys in, and, mm -hmm. and we ended up, ended up eating up the clock somehow. We got, I think we ended up the last three and a half minutes. Defense never got back out there <laughs> to do the same for those seniors. And uh, all you're trying to do is, is run the ball, um, stay physical, keep the clock moving. The mm -hmm. biggest thing you're trying to do is keep the clock moving and don't be stupid in terms of, but making a, a play with no time and just prolonging a game that you know you have. Right, right. Again, you guys had a good balance of pass and, and run. You guys yeah. had 48 rushing attempts and 34 passing yeah, attempts. Yeah, and the weird thing, it was very, I liked it because it balanced. It just felt like we got so much more yardage out of the passing game. And that's why balance isn't in terms of yardage. Balance is in terms of what you do. I mean, we're going to run the ball, but, it, but I'd love to get 300 yards again in the passing game because we're hitting some big plays. Mm -hmm. And this time, I think Brown was 19 to 34 for 314 or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I know. <laughs> I do my homework too, buddy. But uh, he had with three touchdowns, I think. Right. Uh, one interception. The interception was Sean almost made another great play. We just we took we take chances in this program. We threw it deep in there. They ended up tipping it and made a great play on it. But it was a good throw. And, mm -hmm. But that was great. And rushing game, we got a lot of guys that carry the ball again. Marks had a good job. Marks was a little dinged up mm -hmm. in terms of his uh, back was a little sore. So we took him out of the third quarter and got some other guys in there. But still another solid effort. We didn't uh, get a big run. But we got a lot of those three, four, five, you know. We, we were controlling the line of scrimmage. Yep. Yeah, again, you guys had uh, uh, 48 rushing attempts for 158 net right. yards. So you guys really did a good job. Right. And your longest run of the day was 15 yards. Yeah. Like you said, you had a lot of those. It wasn't any of It was just gainers. a three, a four, yeah. a five, a two, an eight, mm -hmm. a minus two, a nine. Mm -hmm. But it's just that control. That's why uh, the first half went so fast. That drive, we just, it was not a, never a big play. It was, mm -hmm. And then we made some big plays with Bird. But yeah, and that's what we need to do in, that, in our offense. We need to control, control the line of scrimmage. And once you control that, they have to start creeping up. And we just, did, and with Sean, we just went over top with Sean and Jeff and, and got some big plays. Okay. Getting the sign here, we got to go to break. We're going to come back and talk about a little bit more about the game and talk or take a look at some highlights and go from there. So stay with us. We'll be right back with more on the Lakeland Locker Room. Competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. JA's free enterprise education program helps kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. I love the challenge of computers. 
Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job. But when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Lakeland Locker Room. Once again, I'm John Weber, joined today by Jim Zabrowski. Z, we were just talking about the game. We're going to look at the, the video here in just a minute. Yep. But, I mean, what was supposed to be a close game really just turned into be a blowout, really. Mm -hmm. You guys controlled everything. When we go run down the stats here, you guys had 21 first downs. They only had eight. You guys had uh, 174, well, 158 net rushing, and they only had, which is amazing, 22, 22 yards. And they were, run, they were a physical run team, and yep. we just, they got, that, they got that in the first drive. Mm -hmm. Now you take away some of the sack yardage. I mean, they rushed for maybe, their running backs maybe got about 48 yards. Yep. You know, and that's just, that's outstanding. Yeah. That's an outstanding game, period. The defense was lights out, just yeah. lights out. When you get down to it, they average less than one yard per carry. Yeah, and that's that great. was really unbelievable. And, of course, as you mentioned, the defense, you guys held them to 129 total, total yards, yards, which is unbelievable. And you guys racked yeah, up nearly four, 500. Yeah, 472 or whatever. There you go, good job. Pa <laughs> passing yards is like 100 to 314 or something. Yeah. And, and that's just, that means they couldn't run it. And they weren't throwing it. Yep. We were running it, and we had the ability to, to take a vertical and, and get some big plays out of it. It was a nice way for uh, Brent Lukey to, to end his home career. It was. Too, it really was. Really I was really game. proud of those kids. All the seniors played. Um, even and this is, we got Kevin Cox in who's had some struggles eligibility wise and, and ended up playing him. And him and Brent rotated the last mm -hmm. two years, I think. And mm -hmm. he has some eligibility issues and just wasn't in form. And, and he's never played. And, and I just wanted to. You know, he's, he's struggled through some times with dad's ill and some things, and he got in also, which was good. Uh, we had uh, Joey Huber and Eric Fritz were hurt. Mm -hmm. They did not uh, play as seniors, but Eric played a little bit in the last game, which he really wanted to, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, against Coach Hines just to show that he's still okay, which is neat. You know, mm -hmm. he wanted to do it. At least he got a couple of carries. He's been playing with no ACL, yeah, which is amazing. amazing. Yeah. And then Joey Huber's been hurt all year, and Joey Huber, I think, is actually going to try and get up. Um, going to come back, I think, next year. Hopefully, which would be great for us yep. for medical redshirt. So all of the other teams got a chance to play, which is outstanding. Mm -hmm. Probably the other big stat I want to point out, which is come, sometimes can be good or bad, but again, you guys had time of possession. 36 minutes, you guys held the ball. There's only 23. Yeah, and minutes. a lot of that, it is a lot, because when you're deep, I think the plays, and you can look at this, because I'm going to be wrong on this, mm -hmm. we're around 83, 84 plays we ran offense. Yeah. You, can, you can correct me on that one. <laughs> what was it? I think it's on the 80. It is 82 plays. 82 yeah. plays, and they had like yeah. 55 or 58. 55, that was it. That's the yeah. big thing. The top possession is nice, but you run 27 more plays. Yeah. Your defense is three and out in them, mm -hmm. and we're running eight play drives. Or That's a huge thing to rest your defense and just physically dominate their defense, mm -hmm. and that, that's huge. So that was really, I was really happy with that. Yeah, I think the turnovers was a big in your favor as well. You guys had three turnovers, and, and uh, you, or excuse me. You, you yeah, had, don't be going there. We had two, I know our turnover yeah. goal. They, we got three. <laughs> we got three. I know it's bad English. And, the, and they got one. <laughs> we took three away, and yeah. we uh, I think we turned the ball over twice. Twice, okay. As a matter of fact, because Brent threw an interception, and we fumbled that snap. Okay. So I, I looked at the stats. stats guy. Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> but that's good if it says one, because that goes in the national stats. We'll take that. <laughs> but we... Uh, a big thing you always hear about before we go to the video is the uh, giveaway, takeaway yeah. ratio and yeah. the plus minus differential. And we are pl a little over one. Right. So we're a little, like we're top 15, 16 in the nation. Right. Somewhere around there, May 20th. But that means you're not turning the ball over that much mm -hmm. and you're getting turned That's always good because you get more opportunities. And that's the biggest, most games come down to big games in terms of uh, all games are big, but games come down to turnovers mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah, it's amazing how true that plays out because I just even saw last week in the NFL the two teams that were left that were undefeated prior to going in this weekend right. were one and two in right. the takeaway margin. Right, the Vikings and the Chiefs, and yeah. now still the Chiefs, I think, because mm -hmm. I fell asleep last night, but they were pounding the Bills at halftime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they took over, but you're right. And that is that's something you really got to work on. We try to work on. We need to get better, but we're doing a good job. Good. Well, I know that's a nice thing. You guys have several guys, and we're going to reca recap that towards the end of the year. Yep. But you guys right now have several guys ranked in the national statistics, right. which is pretty fun, too. It is pretty Let's neat. go ahead and take a look at the video yep. here. We'll go and see and so you can uh, show us some of the highlights. Right, this is Marcus Denham. I had a chance to gash this one. This is fourth and uh, two, I think. We ended up getting about 15 yards. I had a chance to really go off. Great job. This is Sean Barron's first touchdown. He's the outside receiver. We play action up top. We get to two verticals, an eight-man protection scheme, and Sean just makes a great catch. Right, a great ball by Brent, touchdown, big play. This is a quarterback sneak. My, but that we almost break a quarterback sneak on fourth and one. <laughs> I'm a psycho. I go for it like on fourth down every time. This is a lot of confidence in our kids. Great play by Jeff Taffer, great throw by, by Brent. We ran a little uh, smash variation. Jeff caught a 30-yard catch, uh, 
ball. This is Sean making a great play, end of the half, about 12 seconds left, makes the catch, gets us in field goal range. Here's Sean's second big play. We play action again. Uh, Sean's the outside receiver, makes a great play. It's tough to see. Jumps over top of the kid, pushes him up, stays on his feet. 70-yard touchdown, one play drive. Here's Travis Jervis in the flat. They, we catch him in a blitz, Travis wide open. That's nice by what our play action game has given us. We actually get some guys on the flat open. Here's a turnover. It's 7-0 right here, Webbs, and, and they got a chance to go up 14. Our defense gets a turnover. First quarter, we get a fumble recovery, great play. Helped us out a ton. Huge. Yeah, huge. Just as I think quarterback tripping over, our defense was going to sack him anyways. It's always a positive way to say it. Another